You got me? I got you, Coach. So whatever you okay. just did, all right, now everybody can see on YouTube. I can see you over here. So okay. <laughs> good job. There you go. <laughs> all right. See, miracles do happen even when you go yes, live. Sir. So yes, for sir. those who are just joining us and for those who missed out in the very beginning, I'll repeat the question in case you guys missed it out there. And thanks for the ones who are listening in on Sports Radio 12.9 FM, the game. Once again, that is Coach Tucker, a coach for many, many years, now the head coach of the inaugural team, the Jacksonville 95ers. They have not hit the floor as of yet but making so much buzz around jacksonville and you guys hear me screaming all the time i'll put it in text messages duval it just <laughs> it just comes right off the lips there but coach <laughs> again florida north carolina south carolina everybody's buzzing about this team you guys you know again being on radio being on tv there's a lot of hype behind it and and mm -hmm. the team, just the 95er staff alone there's so much love in that room and and we must go at it at least like 20 25 messages a day and it's Absolutely. A lot of fun because it's always like one after the other and it's always great because all we have to do is just you know be awake from one to four in the morning we just cover the 24 hours when it comes to the room. But, you know uh gm uh Dwayne, we had you know kevin waters kevin you know i call him coach too because it's kind of hard not to call him coach you know, but Absolutely. He's putting an excellent staff together. Obviously, with you, you guys have gone back many years. So I, I want to get to that mm -hmm. point there. You, Dwayne, obviously, and Kevin, you guys have a great relationship. So I would like yeah. for you to tell the folks that are, are tuning in tonight about how that relationship came about and then the years that you guys have been together and getting to this point now for this inaugural season. Mm -hmm. So I met um, Kevin Waters back in uh 2013, actually 2012, I came down from Chicago and I was playing with an ABA team in Chicago, came down to Jacksonville and played against the Giants. And so uh, pretty much what happened was after the game, Kevin Waters was like, hey, don't be surprised if I come come get you. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever, man. Like, you know, like, all right. And then next thing I know, I would say maybe probably like four or five months later, he's in Chicago, like, hey, I got a contract. Let's go. And I was like, oh, he wasn't lying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, I ended up signing and came down, and um, I've pretty much been here since. You know, I played for him for, what was that three, four years, two championships. And then uh, I continued playing with the Giants after he left and uh, won three more championships with them. And uh, I met Dwayne pretty much here on the uh, basketball circuit here in Jacksonville. And then we actually coached against each other this past season. Uh, in the ABA, well, two seasons ago, when he was the coach of the uh, Nassau Pride, um, and I coached the uh, Jacksonville Giants. So um, we got good history, though. You know, basketball community kind of brings everybody together, and so you know, when you got good basketball minds that come together and they're all trying to reach the same goal, that's how it works. You know, we collaborate and we try to get the best out of what we're trying to do right now. You know, yeah, no, that's true. And listen, I, I say this all the time. I want people to understand something now. Coach and I have not yet met yet because I am in Central Florida. Coach yes. and the rest of the team is in Northern Florida. So I'm mm. making a trip up to Jacksonville so I get to see everybody, meet everybody for the first time because it, it, it's going to be completely insane once we get to meet each other. But here's the good thing that I will say. When you put good people together in the same room and everybody didn't meet each other in the very beginning as a team was being put mm. all together, but you can mm. tell the vibes because tonight, even though I have another show behind this one, but just the mm -hmm. vibe between you and I tonight, it, it's so much fun that I don't want to let this interview go to get the <laughs> next one, but I have to. But coach, it, it and I lost the feed here momentarily, so hopefully coach will come back here. And coach Tucker and coach is back, <laughs> so I can see him again for a second time. Uh, I don't know what happened. It just just left. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that's why I said sometimes with the phone, it's kind of hard to do. With phone over the you know over the radio, it's good. As far mm. as like when you're calling in, sometimes mm. with just the feed, it just it dumps out. It's just the way the phone connections yeah. are, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah. So, I do apologize for that. No, nah, no worries, coach. It's okay. We so yeah. I, I want to say when it comes to the community, right? Because Jacksonville, everybody again, you you guys are getting a, a lot of momentum. You guys are starting mm. to get sponsors now. A, a mm. lot of people are going to start looking at this team. And in the very beginning on, if everybody watched the intro, I have 95 radio, 95 ers radio, and then the word excellence under there, because that's what everybody's pushing for is that excellence. So absolutely bringing up that portion of it, 
how much will it mean to the community and the city of Jacksonville for this team once we go live here in December? It'll 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 mean a lot because you know there's a uh, a sense of pride here in Jacksonville where you know people are prideful in the things that the city you know its city accomplishes, and so anything with the name Jacksonville attached to it, you know people are proud of it, and you know why not if you're going to call yourself the Jacksonville ninety fivers, why not compete and win championships and just be the gritty you know hard-working city that Jacksonville lives like that's what we that's what we're trying to do you know trying to bring the 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 feel of the city to the rest of the TBL and I want everybody to understand like we're not just here just to be here we're coming here to compete and we're coming here to win like <laughs> I want everybody to understand that we're coming to win like there's no I if, if I have the utmost confidence in us, I think everybody else should, you know, because we're going to put together the, the right group to to get the job done. And, you know, we're going to I want the team to reflect how I was when I played, like, you know, bring your heart, having your lunch pail, like it's time to go to work. So yes. that's how I want this team. That's how I want this team to, to be seen. And that's how I want it to be known as like, you know, when you play the Jacksonville 95ers, you better bring it because if not, you're going home with some bruises and your ego is a little, ego is a little bit in your back pocket. So. <laughs> and, Terry, listen, I, and I believe coach, because between you and, and coach waters, obviously with Dwayne, uh, you guys, you guys are, you guys have been scouting now for a couple of months, mm -hmm. even before to me, what it seems like, even before the team was established, you guys were always scouting. So mm -hmm. that goes to show the intensity right now. And, and, and again, we're months away as the TBL season hasn't come to a complete close yet. But you guys are already doing your due diligence out in the court. You're doing your due diligence out in the community. That, that mm -hmm. connection you guys are making, that's where I want people to understand. If you're a player, you're an athlete, and you're wanting to try out for 95ers, it's, you're not coming to collect a paycheck. You're not coming because you're just going to see your name in lights, not because you're going to be on TV, not because you're going to be on radio. It's because you're going to work as hard as on that court as you are in the community because you're also going to have that community relations. And we've mm -hmm. seen it with other TBL teams – and how connected they are. And Coach Waters, I know you guys have all emphasized that you want to make sure that you build that community bond because without mm -hmm. them, there's no us, no matter which way Absolutely. you look at it. And so Absolutely. I think that's the biggest takeaway that we can take from it right now as, as we get things together. So listen, Coach, I, I'm I'm so looking forward of not only the tryouts, and now he's back once again. So I can, I can see you here again, Coach. There we go. Sorry, next time I'll be on, I'll make sure I'll be on my computer. That way we can we can really sit down and you know chop it up and do what we gotta do oh yeah Sorry. <laughs> Let, well we're gonna get into it anyways because you said chicago all right yeah. so chicago philly and if you can look up here now we got chicago because of my fiance you know she's originally from yeah. the chicago area so i have to make sure i support her as much she supports me from philly <laughs> but no we'll get into that listen we're gonna get into a lot of stuff the next time we get together so uh thank you for a couple minutes tonight coach uh, again, we're going to have mm -hmm. you back on because of the accidental things that happened in the very beginning with the video and the audio. But uh, absolutely, I want to say congratulations, first of all, becoming the inaugural head coach of the Jacksonville 95ers. I'm, I'm looking for nothing but excellence from your resume. From what I heard from coach, there's a mm -hmm. lot of great things that are coming from you. So I'm telling you, athletes, you guys better come and bring your game because it's going to be more than just basketball. I want you guys to understand it. So, uh, Coach, let everybody know before I let you go here, where can they find you on social media in case they do want to try out for the team? So, uh, on uh, Instagram, you can look me up. I'm Gerard Tucker 21. Um, on Facebook, it's just Gerard Tucker. And then um, am I, I'm on Twitter somewhere. I think it's the I'm same thing, Twitter. Gerard Tucker 21. Yeah, Gerard Tucker 21. But... I mean, if they go to the uh, the Jacks 95ers page on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, um, TikTok, everything, I mean, it'll come right up. Like, <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as you go on that page, you'll see. Um, and I think for guys who are coming to try out, anybody who wants to know anything more about us, just go follow the page. I mean, we there's a lot of like good stuff on there, you know, and our website will be up very soon. So... We'll be we'll be rocking and rolling, you know. July fifteenth. If any players out there listening and want to come in and say, "Hey, I'm going to put my name in the hat and try to get something done," why not? Come on in. We're ready for you. So, 
<laughs> send film, send bio, send everything. We're, I'm, I watch film all day, so it's fine. <laughs> That's true. Listen, that 95 was page on Instagram. If you guys don't know, y'all better follow because there is a lot, a lot of information up there. Obviously, the dance team was put together by Kezia. Uh, great job by her getting that dance team organization going. So that I mean, absolutely. there's just a lot, but you're absolutely right. And matter of fact, one of these times I have to go up to, to Jacksonville, Coach, is sitting with you and, and mm-hmm. watching tape. So I can learn myself to see what these players are all about because it, it would just be so interesting. We'll put a documentary together because I, I want to make sure when we get ready to view everything, it's the mm-hmm. demand hours, all this stuff that we need so people know exactly what Jacksonville is all about. So, Coach, once again, thank you for coming on with me. We'll have you back on momentarily. And for those who tune in tonight, it is the debut of 95ers Radio right here on Sports Radio 102.9 FM, the game, the home of your Jacksonville 95ers. So, Coach, enjoy the rest of your night. All right. Have a good one. All right. Everybody else, don't forget, we will be on on TBO TV, also right here on Sports Trail 102.9, coming up at 9 o'clock. For the rest of everyone else, enjoy your evening, and we'll see you soon.